Hi, I'm really not feeling it today. I'm just not, I don't know what my outfit is. <laughs> and I really want it to be like, you know? Yeah, I feel like when you want to do that, it never works out. It never works. No. Nah. Do I need help? I did my hair, everything. I think it's the bag throwing me. I think you need yeah, to take, take the. Off. I think you need to take the bag off because it's like making your top sit funny. Okay. Yeah. No, I like it. I think it looks good. I put my Vans on. I was like. No, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I bought a couple of things because I was like, I'm just not it today. I need to. I bring out this and everything we need to do today. Yeah. Um, but obviously. This. I have a list I'm too. I'm going to <laughs> go. Show the list. Liv's got a list. Um, it's got lipstick on it. <laughs> I think that I need to fix my hair a little bit and I need, I haven't put a new blush or anything on. So I'm going to run upstairs and do that. I'm just trying to fix my fridge. Not my little clip. Um, okay, yeah, so here's the Kev. So far, my favourite thing about this is this timer. What is it? Look how epic it is. Oh, cool. But, look, I just love it. And, no, like, this is what I'm so excited about. Look, all the new bowls. Oh, where's all the stuff? <laughs> That's not it. All the new bowls, new brushes, new paints. <laughs> You know what I mean, and it, it's still like visible. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. You, obviously, I trust you, but um, whatever you reckon that doesn't compromise like the health of my hair. In our DMs, we had discussed like making you really want like going scalp bleach. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't know why I need to do. It. Like I'm so anti scalp bleach. Yeah. And if you want to talk about not damaging your hair, then I think that is definitely off the table because okay. it's the it's 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 inevitable that you're gonna get damage during the time of doing that yeah so I think that that would be really not a great idea for you um so let's not see out bleach cool. I think in regards to being really blonde it's not an issue for you because you're so light naturally so to me straight away I'm like super blonde not a problem yep. there shouldn't be any breakage issues because 
you're naturally light, so that's all fine. I think where when you get breakage is when you start overlapping over and over again onto yeah. existing light. Okay. So to me, I'm just like looking at this area and I'm like, I can go pretty heavy with your lightning through here and not <laughs> compromise your hair if cool. we don't touch this. So I think this will feel refreshed. Um, but I just, I think I don't want to like try and lighten that anymore. I think yeah, we cool. work with the lightness that we've got here yep. and focus on where you've got all your natural hair yep. and then that way we're not going to compromise or damage it at all. Um, and so you're probably thinking, oh, but this feels like a bit warm or whatever, but once it's all refreshed with the toner and everything, it will, it will feel completely different. Yep. Um, in my head, like when I was thinking about today, I was thinking I'm going to do pretty, I was thinking if you still wanted to be really warm, I was like, I'm going to pretty much do back to back foiling. So getting you to like as blonde as possible without scalp bleaching. That's what was in my head. But then I saw you today and I was like, oh, I'm kind of like liking your natural like sort of color that's coming through. Um, but I mean, you know, I don't know. Do you, are you, like if I said to you, do you want to keep like a really kind of natural kind of thing at, at the top? Or do you want to go like, Oils to the roots, what would you choose? What would you lean towards? Um, you've done an incredible job the last time of blending, blending this, and actually, yeah. people stop me on the street and say that like yeah, it's, yeah. it looks really good, but I think I want to be blonde, blonde. Okay, let's be honest, that's what was in my head. So okay. it's just like I saw you and I was like, Oh, I'm liking your natural, it's coming through, but. I mean, we make you really blonde and then you wait another three months and, and then you're back at the same yeah. place. So it's, yeah, it's going to always come back to this. So that's good. Cool. Amazing. Well, then I will go with my vision. Yay. Perfect. I always do a pre-cut. So I'm just taking those dead ends off and prepping this hair for color. I think it's always a good idea to... Do things this way. Using a new Kevin Murphy, I'm using the Color Me Ultimate Light Night, nine levels of lift. I'm not even using the thing. <laughs> so I'll start with 10 volt, bring my back, move to 20 volt. Um, I like my bleach kind of thick. Let's use a new brush, yeah? And the new list, what one So the new star. All branded, love that. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, so here's the color. Just got a good regrowth there. It's always nice to see the color um, before. I appreciate the um, hard work that goes into it. Okay, so nothing new with my sectioning. Uh, just pretty much always do the same V pattern. And really at the moment, I always work with nice fine foil sections. Like, I don't know, you just feel like it's the best. It comes down clean. Don't get any bleeding. Don't need to overtone. And yeah, I've just found lately with my work, it's all really fine. I do have to say though, I think every now and then, Maybe sometimes I go a little too fine and I'm like, oh, I think I could have like just bumped that up a little bit to have a bit more impact. Like some of my work is so, so natural um, and so blended, which is, you know, I feel like that's what everybody wants. But yeah, just something I was thinking about after seeing my results on Grace. Um, yeah, so just sharing that thought here we go so just working up the head it starts to brick a bit through here where it's a little bit wider uh, I think I alternated between a slice and um, a nice weave doing very close together foils I'm using a powder and 20 vol um, yeah
Okay, so with my little V crown section, I actually did a nice pivot. Um, so yeah, I just kind of, instead of stopping and starting with like that really small little section at the V, I just continued on with my foil work and just pivot around to me on the top. I every now and then I do th do it this way and it finishes up really real nice I'm not sure if you could see a really good visual of that but I uh, will show you another time guys it's so so important to um get good tension with your foils and also to leave your ends out of your foil work and to try not to overlap onto existing blonde to make sure that you can leave your blonde on for as long as possible i always teach my junior girls like if you overlap your blonde onto the ends where it's already lightened and that means that you have to take all of your work out early and then that natural hair or that mid band hasn't had a long enough time to process to get light then you're really going to be in trouble with your color work so sometimes the ends look like they need to be cleaned out, but you're better off to focus on getting a bright color on that healthy natural hair and the ends will sort themselves out. It's raining. So um, I changed my pattern here a little bit. Just was trying really hard to cover every little bit of hair and not have any... Um, what do you call it? Like drag, like any, yeah, drag, any dragging on my sections. So just keeping them nice and narrow. Um, yeah, I think it did pay off in the end. Usually I would just go straight up with a nice pivot all the way around, but sometimes that can leave a bit of drag um, in the back, which sometimes you want and sometimes you don't. So what I can say about what I'm doing here is I'm really just determining my foil placement based on her hairline. So I want to really hug her hairline and make sure I get a good coverage and don't have any sections left out. So I was just kind of positioning my foils where I felt like I was going to get the foil closest to the root with the least amount of drag. And that's why I'm kind of jigsawing this together a little bit. Um, again, I think this kind of thing really can be a little time consuming, but it does pay off in the end. Uh, cause when you focus on your foil work, you don't have to do too much toning, which is always the goal for me. So I foiled straight back down the part today. Um, again, I haven't done this in a while actually. I've been using the other technique where you kind of like meet up on the part on both sides, which works really well when you're trying to achieve like balayage or root shadow kind of vibe. But today we wanted strong blonde coverage. And I do think that strong blonde coverage needs foils to go straight down the part. Um, but as you can see, I am... Before I go straight down, I am making sure that I've got good placement around her hairline. So Grace has like quite a strong hairline. Does it dip in the middle? I think it might dip in the middle a little bit like a um, widow's, like a strong widow's peak. Is that what you call it? God, yeah, it is good. Um, so yeah, I just followed that pattern until um, I felt like I could go straight back. Yeah, we used to do all our foil work like this. These days, we don't do it so much. I do feel like it's kind of like back-breaking foil work. 
so important to make sure that you get your client in the right position, move them, move their head, get them to lean forward, whatever you need to do. Because, um, yeah, I definitely think foils down the part, so bad for the lower back, good for the results. So, we're thinking bright, not overtoned blonde. What should we do, guys? What should we do? 931 looks nice. Let's have a look at the gloss. Just think, don't overthink it. 1003 looks nice. The 931 looks nice. The 903 looks nice. Actually, the 1003 maybe. Maybe 1003. What if I do 1003 and a bit of 0.8, a bit of violet? That would be like the 1083. Uh huh. So I could just go for the 1083, I guess. And a bit of 9. What do you guys think? for the ends. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Here's my gloss colours. 1003. And what else did I say? Nine. 8.8, 8.8, 8.8. Where are you here? So violet and gold. Just a little bit of that. And my gloss colours. I'm just like glossing existing blonde. So just want something kind of light, not overly ashy or anything. Don't like ash. I don't want it to be too warm either. So somewhere in the middle with that bump up there. Okay, so originally I thought that I would um, use like a uh, different color on my roots just for like 
I don't know, not a root shadow, but, you know, just for like blending slightly, but I didn't need to. Um, I just needed to trust my foil work because it's clean, it's to the roots, there's no no bleeding, no blending needed to be done. We want bright uh, blonde. We didn't want a root shadow vibe. So I just decided to go with the gloss all over, root to tip. Don't do this enough. Um, yeah, it was, it was all it needed to bring it all together. So don't overtone, guys. Don't overtone. Talk to me about the cut. I think we can go a little bit heavier with the layers, yep. just a little bit, not too crazy. Mm -hmm. It's sitting actually quite nice. With the front, are you wanting to go, are you sure you want to go short? Like, mine's like here, I don't know. I, don't know. I need a, maybe a little a bit. A little bit, not you know? quite, so not as short. Not as short. I love yours, I love how it sits, but yeah. I feel like my no. only difference is I need to be able to sit when I don't do it. Yeah. Whereas you always do it. Yeah, see yours is like, it's actually sitting really pretty now. Whatever Love you it. think, you're the expert. Okay, cool.